Recently, KDP changed the categories selections for books published on Amazon, which will affect books that you're thinking about publishing and books that you've already got published on Amazon. And these are important because it can affect how your books get found, the ranking on Amazon, and therefore ultimately the sales of your books. So we're gonna look at this in a little bit more depth. We're gonna look at why they're important, what's changed, and then some tips on how to select the right categories for your books and do it quickly. So if you don't know already what categories are, if you go to a book listing on Amazon, scroll down, you'll see here under product details, categories that it's ranked in. And this can be up to three categories. And why are these important? Well, when publishing a book, when you select a category, you're essentially telling Amazon what your book is about. So can affect its ranking on Amazon and whether customers find it. Also, when customers are looking for books to buy, they sometimes just browse through the various categories on Amazon. So if your book is ranking highly in a particular category, again, it helps your book get found. But not only that, if your book like this one here does rank highly in a ca category, in this case, number one in three different categories, you do get this number one bestsellers badge that you can see here. Now, it used to be in the book listings, you would also see this orange bestsellers badge next to a book, but that seems to have disappeared. So I think maybe they've got rid of it. If you know anything more about that, then please do let me know down in the comments. But having this orange bestsellers badge does affect your overall ranking on Amazon. Now, it used to be that some publishers would try and gain the system by publishing their books in really obscure categories. But KDP cracked down on this and in fact terminated some accounts where publishers publish their books in irrelevant categories to the type of book that they were publishing. So I don't recommend doing that. So what's actually changed? When, when you were publishing a book on KDP and you went down to the categories area, you would click on the choose categories box. Now you would have a choice of two categories in which to publish your books. But there was a problem because these were old industry standard categories. They were called BISAT categories or BSAT categories, and it stood for Book Industry Standards and Communications. Now, the problem was, was that these categories were older categories and they were quite broad. And it was often difficult, one, to find the right category for your book. And also it was difficult to decide on which category was most relevant to the book that you were publishing. But there was a bit of a way around this, and that was to email KDP support and request that your book be put in 10 categories. Now, that has changed completely because you can no longer email KDP support and request those KDP categories. But now you can choose up to three categories in which to put your books. But not only that, they're no longer these old standard categories, and they are now these specific categories that you can see on Amazon. And you can also see these if you go to the categories on Amazon, click on one, for instance, children's books, you will then see these subcategories. We'll click on activities, crafts and games. And again, see these further subcategories in which you can put your books. So this has the advantage in that you can be more specific about where you place your books. You can now place your books in those categories that you used to see other books published in that you couldn't see in the old category system. And also it should hopefully reduce the chance of other publishers trying to game the system by putting their books in really obscure categories because they've only got three to choose from now rather than a broad selection of 10. So let's have a look at the important bit, which is actually choosing the categories themselves because there are a couple of shortcuts we can take to picking the right category. So what you do is when you're filling out the details of your book, you eventually come to this categories area, you click on choose categories. And in this drop down menu, we select our broad category. Now you may be thinking, well, we've still got all these to choose from. Where do I start? Well, one way of doing this is by going to a book listing on Amazon, looking at what categories similar books to what you want to publish are being published in. You can then say, click on one of these categories. And on the left here, you will see the category and subcategories it's published in. So here we've got books, 
Crafts, Hobbies and Home, Colouring Books for Grown Ups, and this is published under Humorous. So you would go along, find Crafts, Hobbies and Home, then you would start to look at the subcategories, which in this case was Crafts and Hobbies, under Subcategory, Colouring Books for Grown Ups, and then you could pick Humorous, or in this case it could be Mandalas and Patterns as well. So we'll click that one, and you'll see here which category your book is going to be listed in. Another way is to use a tool like Publisher Rocket, which is excellent for keyword research, but they do have this category search feature here. And up here, we would just put in a word related to the book that we're going to be publishing. So say we're going to be publishing a kid's handwriting book. So we could put in handwriting. And here we have some suggestions. So we've got children's books, education reference, reading and writing. So we go back to our categories list select add another category so that's our broad category which is children's books our subcategory education and reference our next subcategory reading and writing and then selecting handwriting so there we've got our our second category there is also an additional useful feature about this category search on publisher rocket which i recently did a video on which i'll link to down below in the description the other way is just to browse the listing. So again, we'll click on add another category and we'll just go through the listings like so, digging down under different subcategories until we find something that's appropriate for our book. Once you've picked three, you then click on save categories. Then the next thing you need to do, and don't forget this, is to tick whether your book is a low content book or not. And if you're not sure what that is, you can click on this drop down menu here and Amazon gives you a broad outline of the definition of low content books. But essentially, they're books in which the content on each page is almost identical. Now, what if you've got books already published? Well, here's an example of a book that I've got listed on Amazon. And you can see here, these are the two categories that it's listed in. So you've got a choice either just to keep your book in those two categories that it's in or pick three new categories by clicking on choose categories and going through that selection process. Once you've done that, hit save categories, then go and republish your book. It will go through a short review process, not the usual long review process when you're publishing a new book and it should update it in the system. Very similar to if you are changing the pricing of your books. So that's the categories and the new categories and how to select them efficiently. Now, if you are new to publishing books on Amazon, I do have this playlist here, which goes through how to create and how to upload and publish on Amazon. Thank you much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.